Let's go ahead and finish our function notations by looking at some graphs and seeing if we can look at a graph and interpret the function from the graph. So number one, given this graph of the function f of x, meaning the f of x is the equation or a rule that talks about this little squiggle line here. Um, I don't know what the actual rule is, but I know that the rule will, will look like this when I graph it. But we wanna find the following f of negative 2. So that just means when x is negative 2, what is y? So here is 0, 0. I go to negative 2. And what is y when x is negative 2? y is 2. Uh, what about f of negative 1? This means when x is negative 1, what is y? So again, I go to negative 1. And what is my y coordinate? Well, it's zero. I didn't go up or down. I just kind of stayed there right on the axis. Uh, what is f of zero? Meaning when x is zero, what is y? And if x is zero, I'm staying right on my y axis. And I go down one, two. y is negative two. When f of, f of three, that's when x equals three. So one, two, three, what is y? One, two, mm, it looks like it's around two and a half. So I'm gonna guesstimate about two and a half or 2.5. And if I were to make coordinate points of these, this coordinate point would be negative two, two. This one, when x is negative one, y is zero. When x is zero, y is negative two. And when x is 3, y is approximately 2 and a half. This says find the value of x when f of x is negative 3. This f of x is basically saying the y value. So when the y value is negative 3, what's the x value? Well, y is negative 3, so negative 1, 2, 3. What's my x value? Well, I have one here, and I have one here. Uh, well, let's see. This one is negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So x could be negative 4, right? And then over here, it hits negative 3, and x would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So x could be negative 4, and it could also be 5. There's actual two values where that could be. And if I were to make points out of them, it would be negative 4, negative 3, and it would be five, negative three. And again, um, I can have the same y value for different x values, that's totally fine. It just can't be the reverse because it's passing my vertical line test, so this is a function. Last one, uh, f of x, or another way of the, my y coordinate, when y is four, what is x? So I go to y is four, one, two, three, four, and what is the x value? It's right here that would be x is one, two. And if I wanted to convert that to a coordinate point, that would be the coordinate point two, four. All right, let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're still gonna take a look at a graph and uh, use our graph to figure out some things, but this is a real life situation. So the function d of t represents Linda's distance from home after t amount of hours on a bike ride. So this graph right here is your d of t, and it's talking about her bike ride. And this is her distance from home. So this would be her home, and this would be how far in miles she's traveling away from home. And then here we have the hours that she's on her bike ride. It is a 10 hour bike ride. She is going on an epic bike ride. Find and interpret each of the following. So not only do I wanna find what the value is, I wanna kind of know what it's meaning or what it's standing for. Okay, so d of, t, d of two. This means when I am plugging in two in for my x variable, in this case, it's technically t, but it's my x axis. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna think, label them x and y because I think better that way. So when x is two, what is y? So I go for x is two, my time is two hours. What is y? y is four. 
So that's the actual finding the answer, but what does it mean, interpret? This means when she rides two hours on her bike, she is four miles away from home. Let's go ahead and find D of 2.75. So I look at 2.75 approximately here, and I go up, brrr, ding. And where is she at 2.7? Well, she's still at four. Okay, when X is 2.75, Y is four. And what does this mean? This little kind of uh, constant right there. From hours two to three, she doesn't go anywhere. She stays the same. So maybe she's taking a rest stop. So after riding two and a step, after two uh, and three fourths hours, she's still four miles from home. Is she at a rest stop? Maybe she's eating lunch? Who knows? She hasn't really gone anywhere for a whole hour. All right, D of five. So when X is five or five hours, what is Y? It's about right here. And that looks like it's about five and a half approximately. So interpret that, what does it mean? After riding five hours, Linda is approximately five and a half miles from home. Let's go ahead and do D of 10. So when X is 10, when my X value is 10, where is she? Um, well, that's zero. My Y value is zero, it's right on the axis. And what does that mean? <laughs> uh, she's home. So after 10 hours of riding her bike, she is home. Now let's do the opposite. This is saying her Y value or her D of T is two. How many hours is it? What is the X value that corresponds to that? So let's take a look at two and what Y values correspond to that? Well, this one does and this one does. So X is one and X is about nine and a half. Well, and let's interpret, what does that mean? Let's see, it takes her, after riding her bike one hour, she's two miles away from home. And also, after nine and a half hours, she's also two miles away from home on her return trip. So... Same thing, D, D of T of five. Let's take a look at when our Y value is five. Okay, Y value, oops, sorry, I was doing the X value, huh? Y value is five. That puts us here. So X is four. And when the Y value is five, it also puts us here. And that is X is about eight and a half. So what does that mean? That means after four hours, she's about five miles from home. And then on her return trip at about eight and a half hours, she's also five miles from home. And then this last one, D of T equals zero. Remember D of T is just another way of saying Y. So when Y is zero, she hasn't gone up and obviously she's not gonna go down because distance isn't negative. When what is our X value? Our X value would be our starting and our ending point. So X would be starting and ending. And what does this mean? Well, when her journey starts, she's zero miles from home and she gets back home at 10 hours. So we could just say she took 10 hours to return home or to get back home. 
So that's kind of a way of looking at our function, at our graph, um, and finding what the points are and what exactly do the points mean. Let's go ahead and do number three. Number three, we are given the equation. So this is slightly different because in number one and two, we didn't have the equation, we just had the graph. Now we're given the equation and we want to fill out an xy chart and then we want to sketch a graph. So in our first one, we're going to plug zero in for x. So f of zero equals 10 minus 2 times 0. 10 minus 0 is 10. And my coordinate point when I plug 0 in is y is 10. So I have the point 0, 10 that I'll go ahead and graph eventually. Uh, what's f of 1? You go ahead and see if you can figure out 1 through 4. So we have, it's pretty easy when we're given our x value to plug it in and find our y value. I know we're going to have a line because this is the equation of a line and here's our mx and our b kind of switched over. Um, and I know that as I'm increasing by 1 every time, I'm decreasing by 2 every time, so I have a constant. But let's go ahead. Now we're given our y value and we have to work backwards to find our x value. So how could we go ahead and figure this out? Well, again, f of x is the same thing as our y. So I could say negative 4 equals 2 or 10 minus 2x. So here is my equation. Here's my f of x, y equals 10 minus 2x. And then I'm going to work backwards to go ahead and solve for x. So I went ahead and got x equals 7. So we have the point 7, negative 4. Go ahead and do the same for 0 and negative 10. Right, so we went ahead and figured out our xy chart. We have a whole bunch of coordinate points. And now our next step was just sketch the graph of it. So we technically, to sketch a graph, we only need two points. Uh, and then we can connect them. Although it's nice to do at least three points, so it's a kind of a guess and check. Um, and then we can guess and kind of see if the rest of these points uh, are on our line. 